Lumos Maxima. Lumos Maxima. Hey Potterheads, Rebecca here with something positively magical. In honor of the release of Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald, we will be launching into a Harry Potter week starting today and going up until November 18th. I think that might have been the best moment of my life. Whether you're a Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, or Slytherin, the top tens we have brewing, like top ten weirdest Harry Potter characters or top ten Fantastic Beast theories that might actually be true, are sure to please. Because The Crimes of Grindelwald is the 10th film in the Wizarding World franchise, we are attempting the impossible and trying to rank them all. But we cannot do it alone. Head on over to the MyMojo voting page for the top 10 Wizarding World movies and cast your spell. I mean, vote. I've always wanted to use that spell. But that's not all. Because we don't have any time turners available at WatchMojo HQ, we need your help to change history and make our top 10 Harry Potter moments the top 10 you want. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. Watch Mojo, Ms. Mojo, and Watch Mojo UK are all joining forces this week to bring you all sorts of great stuff. So be sure to check out all three so you don't miss any spellbinding content. Thanks. Here's Watch Mojo's original top 10 Harry Potter moments. Be sure to click the link below to get to our suggest page to vote on our new updated version. And keep your remember alls handy to go on Watch Mojo on November 18th to see it. These are some of the most memorable moments from one of the greatest fantasy series of all time. You're a wizard, Harry. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Harry Potter movie moments. For this list, we're looking specifically at memorable scenes from the film series, although we did take what happened in the novels into consideration. We are not including scenes that focus specifically on a character's death, as we have our own separate top 10 list for that topic. And a spoiler alert is probably in order. Oh. 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 Number 10, Harry and the Sorting Hat, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter? While we may not have known it at the time, this scene established the important connection between Harry and Voldemort that would come up again and again throughout the rest of the series. Slytherin! The Sorting Hat, which determines which house each new student will be assigned to, quickly assigns Draco Malfoy to Slytherin and Ron Weasley to Gryffindor. Another Weasley. I know just what to do with you. Gryffindor! <laughs> The Hat has a much more difficult time with Harry, however, believing that he would become famous and achieve grandeur by joining Slytherin, largely due to his connection with Voldemort. Slytherin will help you on the way to greatness, there's no doubt about that. Ultimately, the Hat respects Harry's pleas not to join that house, and places him in Gryffindor. Better be... Gryffindor! <laughs> Number 9. Flying Ford Anglia and Hogwarts, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This scene showed what magic was truly capable of. After discovering that the entrance to Platform 9 and 3 quarters is sealed, Harry and Ron use a flying car owned by Ron's father to get to Hogwarts. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. They encounter several mishaps along the way, including almost getting run over by the Hogwarts Express. And Harry nearly falling to his death. The scene is visually appealing as we see the car fly over the English countryside and remains one of the more memorable scenes from the earlier, more light-hearted films. <laughs> Number 8. Harry Catches the Snitch, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone The only thing I want you to worry about is this. The Golden Snitch. The first Quidditch match of Harry Potter's life, and the first one we get to see on screen, this scene shows how truly talented Harry is. What's going on with Harry's broomstick? After overcoming a cursed broomstick, 
It's Snape! He's jinxing the broom! Harry races after the golden snitch, flying at full speed towards the ground before pulling up at the last minute. Then, standing on the edge of his broom, Harry lunges and catches the snitch with his mouth. In classic J.K. Rowling form, the snitch would play a large role later in the series, which was only made possible by a sensational effort from Harry in this stunning scene. He's got the snitch! Harry Potter receives 150 points for catching the snitch! Number 7. Dobby is free, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets Then Dobby must do it, sir. For Harry Potter's own good. After spending an entire film nearly killing Harry, oddly in an effort to save his life, we discover that Dobby actually belongs to Lucius Malfoy. Dobby? So this is your master? To free Dobby from slavery, Harry tricks Lucius into presenting the house elf with an item of clothing. Master has presented Dobby with clothes! Dobby is free! When Lucius attempts to attack Harry in retaliation, Dobby blasts him down the hall. This scene not only further intensifies Harry's rivalry with the Malfoy family, but also shows how far Dobby is willing to go to protect Harry, something that would be important later in the series. How can Dobby ever repay him? Number 6. Harry uses the Resurrection Stone, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. I'm ready to die. This emotional scene sets the stage for Harry's ultimate sacrifice. You've been so brave, sweetheart. Discovering that he's actually a Horcrux and needs to die to defeat Voldemort, Harry wanders into the Forbidden Forest alone. Why are you here? All of you. We never left. Along the way, he uses the Resurrection Stone, which Dumbledore had hidden in the Snitch, to see his parents, Sirius and Remus. Does it hurt? Dying. Quicker than falling asleep. While Harry had previously seen his parents in the Mirror of Erised, this scene is much more powerful because we see how much Harry has lost throughout the course of the series, as he comes to terms with death. Stay close to me. Always. Number 5. Expecto Patronum, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban In one of the final scenes of the third installment of the franchise, Harry and Hermione travel back in time in an effort to save Sirius Black from the Dementor's kiss. Sirius, come on! As the Dementors begin to attack Sirius, Harry hesitates, remembering the first time he witnessed this scene and believing his father would arrive to save Sirius with a Patronus charm. This is horrible. Don't worry, my dad will come. Harry quickly realizes that it was actually his time-traveling self who cast the charm. And after struggling with the Dementors and the Patronus charm throughout the entire film, he unleashes a powerful blast, fighting off dozens of Dementors and essentially saving Sirius's life and his own. Expecto Patronum! Number 4. The Battle at the Department of Mysteries, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Department of Mysteries? They got that bit right, didn't they? The first major conflict of the Second Wizarding War, this scene had everything. Get behind me! Not only did we get to see Aurors dueling with Death Eaters, it's the first time we get to meet Bellatrix Lestrange. Itchy? Pretty? Baby. Hot. One of the series' most iconic characters, and the last time we get to see Sirius Black. The scene is capped by an epic duel between the most powerful dark wizard in the world and the only wizard he was said to fear. From Sirius punching Lucius Malfoy to Harry and Sirius dueling side by side to Bellatrix murdering Sirius to Dumbledore fighting Voldemort, this scene was truly memorable. Number 
3, Gringotts Break In and Escape, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Is it in here, Harry? Can you feel anything? Who doesn't love a good old-fashioned bank robbery? That's it. Up there. According to Rubius Hagrid, Gringotts is the safest place in the wizarding world. But that didn't stop Harry, Ron, and Hermione from breaking in to steal one of Lord Voldemort's horcruxes from Bellatrix Lestrange's vault. Not only did the trio have to get past the suspecting goblins, they also had to overcome a protective charm on the vault that caused all of its contents to start multiplying exponentially. Luckily, Harry was able to grab the Horcrux and escape on the back of a half-blind dragon. Talk about action. Hold on! Number 2. Harry and Dumbledore in the Cave, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince this scene feels like it was taken straight out of a zombie flick. Your blood's much more precious than mine. Harry and Dumbledore travel to a remote cave to retrieve a locket, but discover they have to get past several protection charms left by Voldemort to protect the Horcrux. It has to be drunk. All of it. We get to see one of the most powerful wizards in the world in a state of pure weakness, while also seeing the sacrifices Dumbledore is willing to make for Harry. Don't. <laughs> the scene ends with an epic firestorm created by Dumbledore to fight off dozens of Inferi. Epic. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. It was death, and he felt cheated. Cheated because travelers would normally drown in the river, but death was cunning. Number 1. The Truth About Snape, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 The biggest reveal of the entire series takes the top spot on our list. For seven books and eight films, we wondered if Snape was a hero or a villain. Severus. No, don't kill me. It wasn't until the final installment, however, that we discover Snape was actually good all along. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now to kill them. After being murdered by Voldemort, a dying Snape passes his memories to Harry. No one can know. We soon see that Snape loved Lily, Harry's mother and see how devastated he really was when he found her lifeless body. It's also revealed that a dying Dumbledore begged for Snape to kill him when the time came. You must be the one to kill me, Severus. It is the only way. An unsung hero. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for the boy. Do you agree with our list? No. What's your favorite moment in the Harry Potter franchise? For more exhilarating top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.